Hey yo, what is up testies? I trust you had a wonderful weekend. And if last week you saw this email arrive in your email box, it gave you a teaser of a new Origin ship, let us theorycraft. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am Montoya. All right, Origin teasing us with a new release. The Karak just came out, so we know there's going to be about two or three weeks where everyone's kind of happy and everyone get antsy again. They want to see the next thing. Now, let me preempt the low IQ guy in chat or in the comment section. There's going to say, but CIG should stop making ships and focus on finishing the game. I beat you to it. <laughs> So what can this new Origin tease ship be about? Now, I've had a couple of people PM me saying, hey, look at this picture. It's obviously going to be a cap ship, something big. It's going to be huge. No, uh, this image you're seeing here is actually concept art from before the 890 jump was released. So this is essentially what the concept art of the 890 jump bridge was going to look like. They are just using stock footage, uh, stock imagery from their... Uh, files i guess and decided to use that this is not going to be what the new ship will be well it could be it might be a big cap ship but i think after the 890 jump they're not going to make anything bigger than that for a lot for some time i don't see a, a need for anything larger than the 890 jump from origin for the time being so what does it say according to our sources in new austin icc consultants are spending a lot of time at origin headquarters we're not sure what the implications are, but we're keeping our ears to the ground. So some people saying, okay, ears, ground, ground is where uh, wheels are. So wheels, it must be the rover. No. Now we know the Origin rover is coming. I don't think we'll need a sneak peek or a teaser for that. Um, but by process of elimination, can we kind of figure out where they're going with this? And I think I have the answer for that. So let's take a look at what the Origin line already has out. And uh, keep in mind that they're kind of doing, the, they're following what BMW has. There's the BMW 3 Series, 4 Series, the 5, the 6, the 7. BMW has all different kinds of models, different price ranges for different kind of purposes. And they've kind of gone the same route with the Origin designs here. So we've all seen what the X1 is. Now the X1 is a beautiful little space motorcycle, very sleek, nice design. Uh, personally, I'm a fan of the Knox, but uh, this is also very sleek and a lot of people who like this. So we know it's not going to be a space motorcycle or something small. We already have that. Can it be something a bit bigger? Now, the next ship up in size is the uh, 100 series. If you have not seen this before, this was actually released in April 13th, the concept in April 13th of 2018. And uh, jump over to the wiki here quickly. This was sold... Pledge cost of $45. I suspect this is probably going to be a lot more expensive once it actually does come out for sale. But it is a, uh, a starter luxury ship. It is a rich man's Aurora in a way. Uh, very pretty. Where's the internal picture? Check, check this out. Isn't that pretty? You got a bed. You got your seat. So a starter ship for the richer people in the verse. That's where they're going with the 100. Now, what is above that? Above that is, well, first of all, uh, I want just to see the stats. Uh, where were the stats on this? Were there any stats? Hmm. I'm curious to know what the size on this is. I'll check back in a second. Uh, but the next level up from that is the 300 series. Now everyone knows the 300 series. Been around for a while. Very popular ship. Very sleek. Very pretty. And uh, we know that these are 27 meters in length. Now bear with me here. All right. Cargo capacity of two. Really? A minimum crew of one, all right. Length, 27 meters. The next level up above that is the 600. Now, the 600 jumps up to 91 meters, uh, 16 for cargo capacity and minimum crew of three. And above that, we all know the 890 jump. Uh, hmm, why they have that picture there? Obviously, the ship looks like that. And the 890 jump is 123 meters in length. So where is their space? in this for something new now it's not going to be smaller than the 100 and it's, uh, there's no space between the 100 and the 300 i don't think but what this does leave us is a gap between the 300 at 27 meters in length and the 600 which is 91. where i think this is going not ruling out the rover but between a one-man crew and a five-man crew, 
there's room for a two or three man crew ship. So will it be a 400 or 500 I? That's the only place there's a gap left in this lineup of ships, assuming we're not going for a large origin cap ship, which I think is definitely out of the question. Uh, the answer to that is yes, I strongly believe there is a big gap open there between 23 meters and 91 meters. What will it be? Well, everyone is very excited. Well, we work out for the Carrick. What's the next ship everyone's excited about? The Mercury. Take a look at this. The Mercury. Now, we've all seen the images, and this will be a, a very, very popular ship when it does come out. 40 meters in length. Cargo capacity, 96. Max crew of three. Is there an origin equivalent of the Mercury coming out? That's where I think this is going. And applause. Right? <laughs> Give me your thoughts below. Are we going to see a three? Oh, we have a 300. Are we going to see the 400 or 500i? What do you think the specs of it should be? A two or three man crew? More cargo? Definitely. Um, I'm usually not too excited for teasers. I, I, I want to see them come out. But uh, I'm very, very curious to see what a 400 or 500i will look like. Crew of three, more cargo, and perhaps more exploration type ship, which uh, seems to be uh, definitely the flavor of the month. Give me your comments below. What do you think, uh, 400 or 500i? I look forward to your comments. And if you enjoy this content, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I will see you in the next one.